here on a Friday afternoon. Reed, thank you very much. Very honored, the committee. Thank you. Uh, you people, you took off an afternoon of, of other items. Thank you for your presence here today. I'd like to begin, if I may, and share, introduce to you people that are very important in my life. <clears throat> my wife of 44 years, Barbara. <clears throat> and, and listen, if you will, to the connection to Southern High School, class of 1969. My sister, Maureen, class of 1968, and her husband, Jeff Hahn. My brother, Robert, class of 1973, his wife, Susie. Daughter, Jennifer, class of 1994, and her husband, Ben Schill. <clears throat> Daughter, Bridget, class of 2000, her husband, Andy, is traveling, could not be here today. Acknowledge our son, John, who lives in Atlanta, can't be here today, class of 1995. They, along with my father, who attended Brussels High School in the 1940s, I believe, my mother was a grade school teacher in the Algoma Catholic School System. They have influenced my life in countless ways and, and always very positive. I love you all and thank you all very much. Where's Bill Sugar? Bill, thank you. We've worked together many times. And you come from a very respected Southern family and I'm honored to receive the award you received last year. Your nomination of my name is most appreciated. And thank you to all my teachers through the years. I hope you remember me with, with uh, fondness rather than regrets. Uh, nonetheless, two teachers stood out to me from way back when, Mr. Leonard Ziplow in math and Mr. Hal Breitlow in biology. Mr. Breitlow could not be here today, but I spoke to him and he sounds today like he did 47 years ago. I wish he was. I wish him well. Mr. Ziplow, I really enjoyed math. I thought I was good at it until now. <laughs> Here's the problem. Somebody said, when did you graduate? And I said, 69. They said, when is, how long ago was that? And I went, 69, 70, 31, <laughs> plus 16 is 40, it can't be 47 years. <laughs> then I went, 2016 minus 47, 1969. So that math doesn't work for me, but it's, it is what it is. And to the statement that you are judged by the company you keep, I'm in pretty good shape this afternoon. Uh, I am honored, Jim, to share the stage with you. We watched you excel in high school, in college, professional sports, although the Bears, we understand. Um, and in awe, oh, Mr. Moore, and business venues. But that doesn't begin to address the outstanding person you have become. And I'm sure we'll learn more about that later. But congratulations to you. Mrs. Vickman asked me to talk about my path through school. If I was running for office, I may like talking about myself. But I'm not, and I don't. But we always do what our teachers and administrators say, right? <laughs> Back in my day, if you didn't, you got detention. Do you still have that? Sometimes. I never had it. I think people in that group probably did over there. <laughs> I'm not sure. But here's a quick synopsis. I went to grade school six miles that way. Junior high, five miles that way. High school right here. When our children went to school, we lived three miles that way and all lived six miles over there. We didn't get too, too far from the southern door. I married a girl that I knew in junior high, high school, I had three children attended this very same school, same sports venues, same, some same teachers, same classrooms, and how unique and special is that. Uh, very honored to have that luxury. What was high school like for me? If you asked that question 20 years ago, it could have been easier to answer. But 47 years ago, I'll try. For the students, let's just go back a bit, if you would. Imagine getting by without your iPhone, your iPad, your laptop computer, internet, Twitter, Facebook, Skype, instant messaging, satellite TV, credit cards, calculators, email, cars, and spring break. Welcome to 1969. But we survived. Think of the technology advances in the last 47 years, and then think about the next 47 years. You too have the potential to expand your knowledge and accomplishments in a similar degree of progress. Your potential is unlimited. You've heard that before, 
you will again, and you just did, because it's so true. My path in education, post high school, I went to a vocational school in a civil technology program. The first year went well, I liked it. I decided to switch to UWGP for some college credits that I would use later on towards a four-year degree. Got sick, left school, lost my deferment, had a little Fort Lewis, Washington. Returned to vocational school, finished then what's called an associate's degree, and after a couple of very short drafting and surveying jobs, started work in my career at the shipyard in Sturgeon Bay. And after 15 years of working, I felt I simply wanted that college degree. It took several years to get it and did. And the takeaway from all of that, from my perspective, is simple. It's not what you learn in high school, but how you learn to learn. And that ability will benefit you all your life. Mrs. Bickman also asked what words I have for young men and women as you prepare to be on Southern Door High School. The following is not advice, but encouragement. I encourage you to embrace three things, faith, family, and education. If more people did, we would not have as much madness as we do in the world today. But in spite of that, be the person that sees the glass half full rather than half empty. I also encourage you to volunteer your time to, to some cause or causes in your lifetime. So many people need your help, and you are gifted in that you can give it to them. Service to others is very rewarding. My most important encouragement to you is to stay in control. Control of your mind, and your body, and your emotions and your actions. And please allow me to draw a parallel to something I work with all my professional career right here in Sturgeon Bay, in the shipyards. These boats that we built, as much as a thousand feet long, they weigh as much as 14,000 tons, and they carry approximately 70,000 tons of cargo. But they are always in control. They never drift. And if they do, bad things usually happen. <clears throat> they always know where they are going and how they'll get there. Life may not always give us a clear path in where we're going, but I assure you one thing, we won't get there by drifting. These large ships take a long time to build and are very expensive. Just like you, ask your parents. <laughs> These ships are inspected often as we should be. They break down and they get fixed. And the longer they wait to fix the problem, the more difficult it is and the more costly it becomes, just like us. And when the seas get too rough or danger looms, they go to anchor. Where? Some place that gives them safety and protection. We too need a place in our lives to set our anchor when life sends us storms, and it will. And where is that place? Back to the three things. In your faith, in your family, and in your education. I encourage you to keep yourselves under control and resist the urge to drift, always. Now, the two most important words any speech are coming up next, what are they? In conclusion, <laughs> one more story though. I had a college chemistry class one time where we were studying the periodic table of the elements. Remember that exciting stuff? And during that class, I posed the question to myself. If hydrogen burns, which it does, and oxygen supports combustion, which it does, why doesn't water, H2O, burn? Never asked the question, probably too embarrassed to. Uh, so guess to my surprise at the final exam, when the first question is, word for word, if hydrogen bur uh, burns, which it does, and oxygen supports combustion, oh no. <laughs> that day I confirmed I would not be a chemist. But the answer to that question is simple. Chemistry is a science of change. And I encourage you to find that chemistry in your life, in your relationships, in your employment, in your passions, and you will accomplish things greater than water burning. I thank you for this honor. Your congratulations, Jim. Um, pleasant afternoon. Congratulations, class of 2016. Come back in 47 years and enjoy a day like I am privileged to enjoy today. And the final two words for my speech are, go Eagles. <laughs>